welcome. This time we are doing something a bit different. We are doing Flashback Friday, where I perform a review on a classic movie or a film from way back when. The chosen film is Joanna Man, released about 20 years ago, and I'm excited to review it based on who's in it. This movie has well-known people from the hilarious and lovely Kim Wayans, Tommy Davidson, the beautiful Vivica A. Fox, known for her appearances in many movies and popular TV shows, past to current, and well-known musical artists such as Genuine and Little Kim. Then, our main man in the film, Miguel A. Nunez. He plays Joanna Mann, a.k.a. Jamal Jeffries. Last but not least, the iconic Jennifer Lewis stars in here. Somebody say... In the beginning, we see Jamal at his peak and prime. He's a well-known and professional ball player. He messes it all up by allowing his ego to come out while playing ball, leading to him doing off-the-wall indecency to in public. Keep in mind, this man is under contract. He knew the behavior expected of him to present himself with decorum, work on a team, and everything. It was him doing the indecency in a building he doesn't own for me. He gets fired, booted, however you want to call it. He's basically broke, lost everything, including his woman Tina, a.k.a. Little Kim, who makes it clear why she was with him. The only reason why I stayed with your lying ch- Eating ass. It's because you were rich and famous. But now you're neither, so what's the point? <laughs> she tells him the facts and everything. One of the highlights of the film. He gets a tribunal of some sort to get back in the basketball community, but it doesn't go well. He talks mess and loses his chance to get back into employment. His agent, Lauren, can't find a team that wants to be bothered with Jamal after he literally showed all his personals on television. Lauren lets Jamal go as a client. Jamal's life does a 180. We see Jamal living with his Aunt Ruby, who loves him regardless. When she sends him on an errand, he walks past a group of kids playing basketball. He notices that a young lady is playing basketball with a group of young men, giving him an idea to go into women's basketball despite originally calling women's league a joke. Jamal decides to call Lauren, tell him he has someone that he recommends for Lauren to represent, and he tries out for the Charlotte's Banshees team. He reintroduces himself to Lauren with the alias Joanna Man and gets on the Charlotte Banshees team. Lauren finds out Joanna is Jamal but can't do anything about it since it could backfire on him for not finding out that Jamal was faking. Aunt Ruby, against her better judgment, helps Jamal disguise himself as a woman. Jamal fronts and goes through all this stuff to pass as a woman, thinking it's going to be easy being a woman in basketball but finds out it's harder than he thinks, especially with the higher expectations to work as a team, among other things such as the advances of men. In reality, he could have risked a harassment lawsuit from the Banshees team for his dishonesty since he slept and showered in the same places as they did while on the road. He was risking a lot with this fake identity thing. Over time, he starts catching feelings for Michelle, Vivica's character, despite that she has a boyfriend named Romeo, aka Genuine, and her seeing Joanna as a good girlfriend. Plus, it's mentioned, one specific man, Romeo's friend, Puff Smokey Smoke, an aspiring rapper, wants Joanna and lets her know it. Hold up, little girl. Let me tell you something. You know what? You are one tall glass of water, and I'm telling you straight up, I'm thirsty. I am Puff Smoke is smoke. Tommy Davidson was amazing in this movie. He took it over every time he appeared on screen. Let's go yeah, on. baby. Drive like it's hot. We know Tommy Davidson from his work in Living Color, voicing the dad in the Proud Family, and recent work such as the Miss Pat show. He depicted this character wonderfully. Surprisingly, Jamal in his real life gets the opportunity to have another hearing to get back on his original team in the men's basketball league, but he's already committed to the Banshees' first playoff game. He chooses the Banshees, who are depending on Joanna to show up since Joanna is one of the best players they have on the Charlotte Banshees team. Jamal has grown close to these women and doesn't let them down. However, Jamal does something his agent told him never to do while playing ball in the women's league, dunking the ball. His identity is revealed and he gets kicked off the team, probably for dishonesty, providing false identification, in addition to him technically being banned from playing professional basketball. The Banshees she's lose confidence about their capabilities, still reeling and angry about the lies from Jamal. Jamal tries to encourage them, apologizes, and acknowledges that they made him better, not the other way around. The team wins their game in the championship. In a concluding scene, Jamal is attending a hearing for the Men's Basketball League. After the Joanna Man incident, they do not plan to reinstate Jamal, but the members from the Banshee team speak up for him and tell the committee he has changed and should be reinstated. Michelle and Jamal seem to have started a new and better relationship than before, while Jamal enters back into the league and back on his original team. First off, Jamal was a straight-up nut. I never would have thought he'd be reinstated after the public indecency incident, not to mention the fake identity thing. In addition, in my eyes, it shouldn't have taken all of this that he went through to change. Funny enough, it had taken women for him to change, primarily a black woman, Vivica's character, since he spent most of his time with her. It really is funny how that went, how he couldn't depend on his fellow men to help him learn, nor someone older than him to guide him on the right path. It had taken a woman and someone around his age, but more mature than him mentally, to get him on the right track. I found that very funny, and the most realistic part of the film. Overall, it was quite hilarious, and the all-star cast made it an iconic and timeless movie. And that's just my take on it, but feel free to leave comments about your own perception of this movie and how you felt about it. That's all for today.
Stay tuned. <laughs>